It's a real feast that you're cooking for us it today. It really is. Gorgeous, comforting family meal that would be lovely for today or, you know, any time over the weekend. A nice sort of Sunday Yeah, dinner. it really mm. is. It's bacon, first of all. Yeah. And um, so this is the loin of bacon, but you call, call it gammon here, a I gammon. think, don't you? Um, or ham. And so I've basically boiled this. So you put it into water and you bring it up to the boil. And then you boil it for about 20 minutes per pound. So you can weigh this. This is a few pounds. This took just under an hour. Okay. And um, But you might need to pour off the water once or twice after it comes up to the boil. You basically taste the water. If the water's salty, too salty, you know, then you pour it off and you put fresh oh, water in. that's a good in. tip. And okay. that's basically it. So that's how yeah. you test it. Brilliant. And this is really nice. You know, you do get what you pay for yeah. with the bacon. So yeah. good free range is, is definitely the way to go. Absolutely. Um, and so once it's cooked, then you just pull off the rind there. And you don't serve it with the rind. Okay. Wonderful. So then I have got some cabbage. So that's the bacon. I'm going to come back to that. It can just sit there and rest. Um, and this is really lovely Savoy cabbage. Mm. Really lovely. This crinkly cabbage that um, I think is lovely or a dark green spring cabbage is good. And I'm basically just going to slice the cabbage. And, um, you know, the cabbage always used to be boiled in the bacon cooking water in Ireland. Yeah. And so lots of people, and actually here too, but a lot of people then, of course, think of cabbage as just, you know, that really overboiled, that smell? It's yeah. like that school like canteen. Yeah, nan's cooked it almost. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know and it's been saying. boiling for hours, yeah. hours, hours, just in case it's not ready in time. Very floppy cabbage is never floppy. good. Floppy. There's nothing worse than floppy no. cabbage. So I've cooked this cabbage over here in, look, some butter. Um, oh. Tiny splash of water is all you need. And that's it. That's been cooking for about two or three minutes. And, then and is that's that done then? That's done. Because you know the tricky thing with a feast like this, and I think even if you like to cook at home, this yeah. can feel tricky, getting the timing right. Totally. Well, this is actually something you could reheat once you're just not overcooking okay, it. Okay, so at the cook beginning. it and then leave it. But actually, I've just added in a dash of cream, and then you could even Ooh. blend it. So to make this little cabbage puree. Ooh, very nice. So that's what we have. And then. Next thing is, so this comprises of a few different elements. Um, potato cakes. Mm. You know, you've got to have your potatoes. You've got to have so potato you've got cakes. to have potatoes. So I've got mashed potatoes here and some spring onions and a little bit of parsley and some thyme could go in there as well. A mm. little bit of egg just to bind it together, yeah. but that's enough. And then I'll season it and shape these. And actually, while I'm it's doing really quite that... quite easy, isn't it, those potatoes? Yeah. yeah. And they, you can just make these with, of course, just leftover mashed potatoes or yeah. mashed potatoes specifically for it. Um, but then, of course, you could add in, if you're not having it with the bacon, smoked salmon, you know, chorizo, Ooh. you could add in peas, whatever. But you know what, Rachel? As well, I got I got your new book the other day. Did you? Yeah, and I made the beetroot soup, and it was delicious. Oh, good! Really quick and oh, easy. Good. Again. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I love a good really soup. Really good for you. The beetroot. Good one soup is just the best thing, colour. isn't it? And that's recipes from my mother. That sure yeah. is. Yes. Like, there's lots of lovely old photos in it, and the stories around the meals. Yeah, my mum's from Iceland, so some of the recipes in the book are mm. coming from. Um, of Nordic influence and yeah. yeah that's actually would you mind chopping oh the uh, yes I can do that Thank for you, you so much yeah so with these little potato cakes I'm just going to shape them she knows her chop. Wow. Well, yeah. I get my, my best shot, Rachel, when you're here. I feel very under pressure. Stop. Is that enough there? Yeah, that's lovely. So I'm just going to shape the little potato cakes like that and then pop them into... I've got hot butter with a splash of olive oil in yeah. there. A splash of olive oil will stop the butter Why do you burning. use... Oh, OK, right, that's interesting. Yeah. And then, OK, so what we can do is, with the bacon... Look, I'll just show you. We have got... This here. I've also got with me a, um, a little roux, so I made that by equal quantities butter and flour. Mm -hmm. And then I pour some milk into that, and you could just infuse the milk with some vegetables, aromatics, whisk that, and boil it just for a minute or two until it's thickened like this. Oh, lovely and, and creamy. Then the parsley, a little bit of Dijon mustard can go in here. Okay, bringing the mustard from France, not completely Irish, but that's okay. Some lovely English mustard. Bit of fusion cooking, we love that. OK, so let's plate this up. Um, you made so that, that look very lovely. easy, Rachel. It's actually the yes, the we've got to preparing everything in the background. <laughs> but let's say this here. OK, so shall I just put some... Yeah. And do you care about how it looks on the plate? Do you like things to look yeah, pretty or is it I more do. of a rustic feel? Well, it is, it is rustic. Good rustic. Yeah. Good rustic. Good rustic. Aesthetically there. pleasing rustic yes. is what we like. Exactly, which makes it look like, you you know, it's like doing your hair. It makes it look like you haven't spent any time on it. So but actually, lovely you have little potato cakes... cakes and put this over here for you. So this is just the cabbage that you could just yeah, whiz like and blend up. That's a lovely idea. And then 
you can, if you wish, pour some of the parsley sauce here. If the parsley sauce is a bit thick, you can just thin it out with some of the bacon cooking water. Okay, lovely. Um, so you can pour some of that and over some there. Of that on there as well. And that's it. Look at that. I'm going to have to try one of these potato cakes. I don't <laughs> eat meat, so I'm going to have to. I know. The I'm gammon, sorry. But the potato <laughs> cake. <laughs> Actually, this. Oh the, my goodness. The bacon looks really nice. Oh, great! That bit of this. is divine. Oh, thank good. you so much, and Pleasure. happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you, and you too. Have a lovely weekend. <laughs>